Mm, let's see what the pick. Maybe not this folder. Let's go over to. Uh, it's back. <laughs> yeah, hello, everyone, and welcome to another in the groove video. White Laguna is indeed back for another year. I thought I would play it because I know I can pass it. Plus to see how far I've come, basically. But I, I notice a little, little something as oh, I begin this year. Socks are sticky. Oops. <clears throat> Didn't even put away my socks from my bunch of sessions, and I'm putting on a third layer of socks because I've been playing so hard lately that um I've been sweating up the socks and it's making my moves sticky. Let's try it again. Alright, so, <laughs> as I was saying, <laughs> the, uh, the song returns for another year, and it's bigger and better than ever. Oh wait, no. It's, it's the same chart. I am bigger and better than I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I do definitely get a much better score than I did my first time passing this, because I've I've gotten a lot better since then, and thus the same charts just doesn't feel quite as hard as it used to, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like when you when you struggle on something for the first time, then you work on other stuff for a while, then you come back to it, you're like, hmm, where... The, uh, how, how did I have this much difficulty with this before? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this one is... Most certainly still hard. Don't get me wrong here, this is a level 18. It just doesn't feel as hard as it did before when I first passed it, you know what I mean? So that's another sign of improvement going on here. And you know those numbers that you see about the measures? They don't really mean much with this song. <laughs> Let's be honest here. But it's pretty much just one stream from start to finish. There's maybe a decent break near the end, but for the most part it's streaming 185 BPM for the full length, so <laughs> no letting up, completely unrelentless, although the music changes, don't be fooled, the music is still at the same BPM regardless of what other beats you may hear in it, so just keep streaming at this speed throughout. Other than those tiny itty bitty dips, it's like okay, I'm gonna give you, give you a little break for maybe a half a second of fourth and eighth notes only, and then suddenly you're back up to sixteenth note. <laughs> so it's like that number. It 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 think it makes you think you're gonna have a break, but no, no, it lies, lies and well, deceits are those numbers. Relax, speak again. Just stay on, stay on track with the beat there. You can do it. <laughs> but anyway, so, yeah, um, as you could tell with the graph there, if you didn't have a graph up like that, the numbers would probably fool you into thinking that there is a break, but since you can see the graph, both bottom right and above the note highway there, you've got a, uh, that was the break. <laughs> Just because there wasn't, just because there wasn't something to connect those two segments there, that that, that was considered a break. In is kind of meaningless because there's no real breaks anyway. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do to be able to manage something like this? Well, that's what I've been trying to explain in the past videos. You gotta try and get yourself into getting used to these sorts of speeds, like. They're faster, but that doesn't mean you have to be all tense while playing them. And I think that's that's the thing, is that when it gets faster, it's easier to get more tense at it. But that is most certainly a detriment, because you're just going to burn more energy. So, that that's why I said you got, you got to kind of keep pushing to get out of your comfort zone, and keep trying to do faster stuff, because it's not gonna be easier to play the faster stuff unless you keep playing the faster stuff, you know what I mean? 
I mean, yeah, this isn't as fast as the 195 stuff that I played, but considering it's longer and more relentless, it's it's definitely harder. But playing the 195 stuff does make this feel easier because you know when you're playing 10 beats per, beats per minute faster, it's it makes other stuff that's slower feel a whole lot easier too. So say you're trying to work up to an 18 like this, maybe you'll find it easier if you're playing stuff in the 190s to 200 range or something like that and then you jump over to this and you're like, huh, this, this doesn't feel nearly as bad as I thought it would, ex you know, as, before going into it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, you, you will feel it by the end of it, believe me, but I mean that it's gonna feel like that there's more energy to go around. Like, even before you reach the halfway point, you're gonna feel like that you still have more to go. There's a couple of little 16, I mean, 12th note bursts there. Not that much of a burst, though, but just there to throw you off of it. But anyway, <laughs> so yeah, um, when, you're, when you get used to playing something faster, playing something slower suddenly feels a lot more manageable and you aren't as nervous or tense or whatever you want to call it so that makes you use a lot more energy than you would normally. And thus, that, that's kind of the idea of what I was going for there by just continually pushing myself to go and get used to faster stuff. And also why I'm recommending you try that the same. I mean, it's not gonna kill you! Try it! Just give it a shot! <laughs> you know? If you fail out, you fail out. You know, if you don't have the, the speed or stamina for it, you just won't be able to finish it because you won't, your legs will get tired and you'll top out on your stamina and you won't be able to keep up anymore and that's it for the run. You know, you, you lose in like seconds if you can't keep up basically. <laughs> it's, just, it's just that it's that hard, there's so much stuff that your dance gauge plummets to doom. So there's, there's no real way of overdoing it per se when you play dance games is that because the, the, the dance gauge itself it, it kind of prevents you from pushing too hard, you know? If you can't if you can't finish a song, your dance gauge goes to zero, then yeah, you can't, there's nothing more to push to, you've just got to restart it from the beginning. And, of course, if you fail the song because you were tired, you're not going to get very far going back into it again, because you've already burned your energy. Now watch us, 183 ends, and there goes another stream. <laughs> it's like, where's the brakes? <laughs> There's no brakes! <laughs> uh, th that little dip that's coming after this 16 is, as I mentioned, the biggest break. This is looking good. Yeah, I, I like how my minus 11 point uh, something percentage there at the time was. It was like 11.8 something. Because that means my pacing is way, way, way better in score accuracy than it was on my first playthrough of White Laguna, so... All I have to do is finish this 48, which is like nothing compared to the rest of it. Except for the fact, of course, that it's at the end of the run. So it's, you know, the longer it goes, the, the more tiring it, it makes you because it keeps sucking your energy from having to keep going through all this stuff. But don't worry, if you've got yourself in under control, you should be able to finish it. I have faith in you, and you must have faith in your feet! And legs, too. You know, legs help too. They're attached to your more. feet. Yep, just a little bit more. I'm tired though. Very tiring, <laughs> but not as bad as I remember it. I'll make it. I got the more more hang of it by now. <laughs> Four more. Just keep going. Don't waver. Stay on the beat, even though it's getting quieter, so it's harder to hear. Ha! Yeah, that's uh quite an improvement since I last played it. <laughs> And with that, I'm going to end off the video here. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. That wasn't anywhere close to as bad as I remember. Well, I mean, it was bad, but... <laughs> um, I mean that I was able to handle it a whole lot better than I did uh, way, way back when I first passed it. Accuracy is better, too. Okay.